history for a moment. So we learn the skills at level two and then we apply them at level three. And so if I borrow a phrase from the CFA Institute, the thing that I try to tell the level three candidate is it's theory and practice, theory and practice. You have to learn the theory and then you have to apply it in practice. And our exam at level three is so different than level one and level two. At level one and level two, the answer is there on the page. You can get to it if you work hard enough and figure it out, work around it. I know there's a time constraint, but the answer is there. A level three in a morning essay, the answer is not there. And so the biggest hurdle that I think a level three candidate has, I rarely hear of a level three candidate saying, well, the afternoon item sets crushed me. Uh, I ran out of time. I didn't have time to solve things. It's always a morning crushed me. I couldn't answer the essay. What's the breakdown? And the breakdown tends to be they don't put pencil to paper. They don't, it's one thing to do a equation and solve a problem. It's another thing to take a concept and try to write it down. And they oftentimes come back and they say, I read questions, I read solutions, but I never wrote it down on paper. And there's just a fundamental breakdown between nowadays we type everything, we thumb everything, but we rarely take a pencil and write it out on paper. Now, I don't know how that's going to change given a computer-based exam, if we're gonna be typing or if we're gonna be writing with a stylus on an iPad, I haven't heard yet how that's going to be taken. But when it comes to doing practice essays, I think Rafe is great in saying, you have to work the CFA Institute material first. And I would say that as anybody would tell you, time is a huge issue in a morning essay. And so the more frequently that you can revise and review and go over and solve, it's like those calculus problems in college, that the more you did your problems over and over, the faster and the quicker you learned them, the quicker you can solve them, recognize them through familiarity and execute quickly. That facilitates the morning essay, as long as they practice writing the solutions and applying theory and practice when they do so. And so many candidates sidestep prob adding their solutions that they'll do the theory because they're under such time constraint and they fail to answer how it applies to the client, the portfolio, the capital markets, or the financial market participant. Once they bridge those together through multiple practice sessions, either through blue boxes, the problem is now the Institute has said, we don't want you to look at old exams anymore. So that opportunity set is now closed down. And so now that opens up opportunity sets for other review providers to provide mock exams. Um, what I'm always very cautious about is I've always told the candidate, do the work in the CFA Institute first, the white text, the blue box, the practice problems, the, the echo environment that CFA Institute has, doing multiple times. But if you get near the exam and you want extra practice, then reach out and start working mocks. But don't work mocks first at the expense of not doing the CFA Institute work. That does not work. And I think Z is spot on. I find that there's a fatigue factor, a blur factor. I've seen it already, I'm not gonna answer it. Fewer is probably better, the four to five range from what I've heard. You start getting into too much, you get candidates that just get stressed, they get pittered out, they just can't think anymore. And that gets to be a problem too, is the fatigue factors, they roll into getting closer and closer to the exam.